Yo, good morning everybody. It's your boy Black Hawk. We're here, Gold's Gym, Rochester, New York. And you guys, y'all know what time it is, man. Today is leg day. We're gonna focus a little bit more on hamstrings today. I gave you guys a quad focused dominant leg day already. So I want to show you guys what a hamstring day looks like for me. We're still gonna hit quads and calves, obviously. You know, we don't wanna have one particular body part more dominant than the other, but I like splitting my two up. So that way I'm not at the gym so long. I'm already at the gym probably about an hour and a half, two hours just between cardio and my training. So I don't wanna be there any longer than I need to be. So we're gonna focus on that today. I'm gonna show you guys some dynamic and some static stretching. Dynamic more so at the beginning of the workout just to get our legs and our body warmed up for what we're gonna get into today. And then at the end of our workout, we're gonna do some static stretching. Uh, just to show you what to do at the end of a workout so that way your body isn't so sore at the end of a leg day because we all know leg day sucks and it hurts the most after the end so you got to stretch and you got to make sure that you know ice your body shower do everything you need to do to recover those muscles in a more productive fashion so we're going to hit that we're going to do some cardio right after we do the static stretching and then we're gonna get out of here, try and get our food already made, breakfast at home. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna eat, get my protein shake and we're gonna call it a day. So we're gonna take you into the gym now. I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I'm bringing so far and I look forward to bringing you much, much more. Into the next video, peace. So I always get asked, why do I walk on a stair stepper backwards? So I do this particularly because it focuses a little bit more on the quads when I'm stepping back. So as I step, I try and push my heel and my entire foot through the stairs. And I really engage the quad muscle, as you can see, it flexing through my shorts on this video here. And I feel like it exhausts or pre-exhausts the muscle so I don't get ready for the rest of my workouts. So I feel like the barbell squat is a fan favorite. I see everyone in the gym doing this. I just recently incorporated these back into my workout. Um, you wanna make sure when you're doing these that it's at a weight that you're comfortable doing. You wanna push your hips back, sit as if you're going to sit in a chair. And as you come up, push through your heels and flex the quads and flex your glutes. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're at the gym and you're training legs and you're not doing hack squat, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so hack squat is really, really good for training the quads. This is a quad focused exercise. Depending on where you put your feet, you can also hit your glutes as well and your hamstrings. But I love, love, love this machine for the quads. Make sure you do this machine always when you're training quads, guys. All right, so I decided on the leg press machine today, I kind of wanted to keep my feet a little more balanced. So I'm hitting quads and I'm hitting glutes. So the way my feet are placed right now, you'll see I'll be engaging both the glute hamstrings and the quad muscles today. Um, the higher you go, the more you will get in the hamstrings and the glutes and the lower you go my toe below that middle line it'll be more quad focused so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on why my feet are placed the way they are today
All right, so leg extensions. Leg extensions are my favorite for quads. On any leg day, I finish up with leg extensions. I usually do somewhere between 15 to 20 reps to really get the blood pumping and the blood flowing. I treat the leg curl the same way I treat the leg extensions. I do reps in the range of 15 to 20 to get the blood flowing through the hamstrings and really engage the hamstring muscles on this exercise. I don't let the machine work me, I work the machine. All right, so for the sake of the video, some of these exercises are sped up a little bit, but with the standing single leg curl, what you want to do is, is you want to focus on that squeeze when you're coming up and then slowly let the leg go down almost at like a three tempo to really engage that hamstring muscle and to stretch out that muscle as you're going down. Yo, hi right, everybody. So we just finished leg day here at Gold's Gym. What a great day it was today, man. Uh, we got a lot of good exercises in. The stretch at the end was probably the best part of this entire workout today. I definitely needed it. My lower back was extremely tight. So a lot of those static stretches that I was doing at the end really, really helped. And going through the warm up at the beginning, doing lightweight, squats and then uh, going in and doing some deadlifting um, actually really helped with the rest of the routine today as far as with uh, some hamstring and some glute work uh, we did squats um, light to heavy moderate weight today then we went to the hack squat uh, feet placement is everything so you'll see in the video where my feet are that's predominantly for hamstrings. If I were to bring my feet a little lower, it would have been for quads. Uh, same thing on the leg press, feet placement, where my feet are, it's predominantly for hamstrings. Quads are hit a little bit, but it's more so for the hamstrings and the glutes. Um, then we went to some back extensions, which I haven't done in a while, but definitely needed to do it because I'm feeling that my lower back isn't as strong as it should be. So we hit that uh, for a few reps. Then we went from the back extension machine to the leg extension machine, which I love. Um, you got to take your time on a leg extension machine, though. If you do not, I feel like if you're just going through the motion and you're not exaggerating that um, 
that concentration at the top of the movement, then you don't really get all of what you could benefit from that movement. So leg extensions are a favorite of mine. Then we went to seated leg curls and went from seated leg curls to standing one leg leg curls. So that's the wrap up for today. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I look forward to catching up with you guys as soon as I can. Again, as always, if you got any questions, feel free to leave comments down below for me. Inbox me, hit me up on Twitter. You know, all of my socials are in the link, so feel free to hit me up at any time. I'm one of those guys. I'm never going to let publicity or how big I get keep me from talking to you guys. So I'm willing to answer any questions. And again, if I don't know the answers, I will get them for you. Until next time, peace.